Welcome back at 822. It is festival season. That means crawfish Monica everywhere, but you don't have to go to a festival to have it. You can actually make your own version at home with crawfish shaped pasta from D'Agostino's. D'Agostino pasta's chef Jamie Warwick joins us now to share her not so secret crawfish Monica recipe and it already smells amazing in this <laughs> kitchen. Chef Jamie, as always, we appreciate you being here. Thank you. Good so, morning. Good morning. What do you have going in the pot already? So I have some shallots, mm. some garlic, a little bit of Creole seasoning and cayenne. So this is a typically like a little spicy recipe, mm -hmm. but you can leave the cayenne out if, you, if, it's, if, too it's, spicy. if it's too hot. And I know this is a really popular dish around the Jazz Fest time. You see people walking around their bowls of crawfish Monica. Of course, Jazz Fest only lasts for a few days a year. You want it all the time though. Yes. So now you're showing people an easy way to make it. So what else are you adding to that pot? So this is some white wine just to deglaze the bottom, add a little more flavor to it. Okay. Um, and then we are going to add our heavy cream. Ooh. All right. And so we give that a little time to cook down and then we could talk about D'Agostino a little yeah, more. Yeah, tell us more about the pasta. And so we are a handmade pasta company. Okay. And so today we have the crawfish shapes, but we have other shapes as well, like the fleur de lis or an alligator as well. Ooh, so yes. this, I would imagine for kids, because yes. you know, kids are typically, or not always, but some kids can be picky eaters, but mm -hmm. when food looks fun, yes. they might be more apt to eat it. So correct? that's what kind of elevates this a little bit, makes it our crawfish Monica, because we're using our crawfish shaped pasta today. Yes. But then we have Saint season coming up real soon, so you can use the fleur de lis. That's perfect. When you're making your crawfish Monica because you can have it anytime. I mean, now that you have a recipe for it, you don't have to just do you, it for You don't have to wait festival for, for festivals. You can eat crawfish Monica year round yep. and impress your guests when you pull out some crawfish Monica. They would not be expecting that at all. And then make sure you have some Louisiana crawfish to go with it. Yes. Then we're going to add a little bit of this green onion, Love green onion. and some parsley. Always add the parsley. <laughs> and a little bit of lemon zest. Why lemon zest? Okay, so it's not a traditional item, but to me, it helps to brighten the dish up a little okay. bit. So I love lemon zest. And when you say brighten, for people who are not, um, you know, kitchen connoisseurs, oh, yeah. what do you mean when you say brighten? So we have a flavors? heavy cream in here. So sometimes some people can think that that's a little bit heavy on the, on the stomach, though. Yes. But if you put that nice freshness from the lemon, the lemon juice, and the lemon zest, that actually helps to make it feel a little bit lighter. Not so I'm so adding that lemon that juice now. All right. And then we are going to add our crawfish, which you want to make sure you don't add the crawfish too early because you don't want it to dry and shrivel up on you too much. Okay? And crawfish are amazing, but we all know sometimes they can get chewy or rubbery if you cook them too long. Of course. And then the last thing that's going to bring this together is the Parmesan. And why the cheese now, not after you put the pasta in there? So you want the cheese to be nice and creamy. Gotcha. So if you put it in with the pasta, it's not gonna it's not gonna melt really well. Okay. Pasta's gonna kinda like grab some of it up and it's gonna be sticking to it and it won't look as pretty as you're used to at Jazz Fest. Yes. Right? And so this simmers for a little bit as we add this Parmesan. And then the last thing we're going to add is, is our crawfish shaped pasta. Yes. Yes. So you're like that how how long typically would you say this dish would make to So from this start about to from start to finish, maybe typically about twenty minutes. Okay, not too bad. All right. So then I'm going to add my pasta. And again, these are the crawfish shaped. Noodles. Of course, from <laughs> D'Agostino. You can find it here at Dornax or Conseco's. You can also find them online if you're not in the city at the time and you want to have some somewhere else. Or, yeah, I was going to say, if you want to send some stuff to people who live in other parts of the country, they're always looking for their, you know, their, their local stuff. So of surprise course. them with some crawfish shaped pasta. They yes. Love that. So this has to cook a little bit longer. We'll let it keep cooking, Chef Jamie. We're going to be back with you in the kitchen in the next hour to cook up another, another pasta. I of course. Yes. So we'll let that cook and see the finished product. Maybe then it'll, it'll be kind of dished out. We'll see yes, what that looks like. And I can't wait to eat crawfish Monica <laughs> for breakfast. Okay. All right, Chef Jamie, as always, thank you so much for your time.